Earlier this month, Springfield City Council passed a resolution to reduce the amount of fatal crashes in the city to zero by the year 2040. That's certainly an ambitious goal. But city officials say it's doable if they reduce traffic deaths by two each year. Color 10's Parker Paget is live in Springfield detailing just how they plan to go about this. Yeah, the biggest issue with this effort is figuring out how to shift the driving culture here in Springfield. Now, city officials tell me they already have plans in the works. We plan to work with other uh, major employers in town to really get a community collaborative together that will work on the same thing and trying to change that image and getting people to understand that driver convenience is not as important as everybody's safety. Mandy Bootkin Quinn with the City of Springfield is the project head of Safe Streets SGF, a local extension of Vision Zero. Vision Zero is a national movement um, that was started actually in Europe, in Sweden, decades ago, and has proven itself very successful in reducing traffic fatalities and severe injuries. She says Springfield has the 13th most traffic deaths per capita among larger cities in America. And so it is important that we do something about that. But how? We have put our heads together and uh, taken the first steps to form a coalition that works on Vision Zero. And basically we're looking at um, safety messaging to drivers and um, school kids as well. Which would benefit people like Carolyn McGee, who spoke in favor of the resolution before city council passed it. It got to the point it didn't even scare me when a driver decided that their right on red was more important than my walk signal. Bootkin Quinn says there's more in the works starting in 2025. One of the next step will certainly um, include the hands held law that will be active for enforcement starting January 1st. Yeah, this project isn't solely focused on traffic deaths. The city wants to reduce the number of severe injury crashes to zero as well, but that date is by 2050. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.